Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to do this look. It's a very natural like everyday makeup look that anyone can uh, do and look gorgeous in. And it was actually you guys who suggested me to do this. I asked you guys on Instagram and a lot of you said you wanted a natural everyday makeup tutorial. So that is what I did. So thank you to you who um, asked for it. So if you want to see how I created this makeup look, just keep on watching. I thought it would be great to do this video today just because I have dyed my eyebrows today and I look like a human. <laughs> you guys who have followed me for a long time knows that I didn't really have brows back in the day, but I, I have grown them out and just look at them. They're there, you know? You can see them. And they have shape and I love them. <laughs> okay, first off I'm going to use a primer and I always use a primer every single day. I love primers just because I have a very oily skin type so I need that extra extra help with not being a grease ball in the end of the day. Uh, this one is the Smashbox Photo Finish. Not really uh, targeted to oily skin but I do feel like it makes my makeup stay on a lot better during the day. For foundation I'm going to use this one from the Body Shop. This one is called Chelsea Porcelain in number 10. Um, it's a very natural, not too much coverage type of foundation. Um, but it still looks really beautiful and does cover um, what you need to cover. I'm going to apply that with my Beauty Blender. And for concealer, I'm going to use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. And for powder, I'm going to use my favorite dual foundation from Makeup Store. It looks like this and it is called Helsinki. Under my eyes, I will actually use the Beauty Blender to apply the powder. Um, but I, I won't do that with the rest of my face. I just really need the powders to stick down the concealer. Um, because if not, it creases like crazy on me. And now I'm going to bronze up with this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer, which smells like chocolate. For blush, I'm going to use Serene from Sigma Beauty and for highlight, I am going to use the Moon Shadow in Peach from Makeup Store. Okay, for brows I am going to use the Tree Brow Color from Makeup Store with the Model Co More Brows in dark, I think. Medium slash dark. I am going to use the middle color uh, with, mixed with the black. It's 
so easy to fill in your brows when you have just dyed them. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to fix the lines a bit with a concealer brush and um, some of my foundation. Just to set everything down, I am going to use the Urban Decay The Sleek Makeup Setting Spray and just shake it up and apply. I love setting spray. <laughs> Did you notice? Uh, I have very oily eyelids, so I always use a eyeshadow primer. This one is the Urban Decay. I kind of feel like the hype around this is overrated because I don't think it's that good. For eyeshadow today, I am going to use this little trio from Makeup Store. It's one of their new uh, eyeshadows in this. Um, palette. This one is the Bride uh, collection. First off, I am going to use a transition color in the Meet Matte uh, eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use this one called Matte Sing or Sung. And now I'm going to use the color in the middle all over my lid. The burgundy shade I will use just in the outer corner of my eye and maybe some in the crease as well. And now I will just blend it out with another brush. And now I will be using the champagne color right under my brow and right here in my inner corner. I'm not going to use a eyeliner, but I am going to tight line with just a matte black. I just wiggle the brush and it will do the trick. can see the difference it makes such a difference. I am going to use a eyeliner that is similar to my skin tone and put it in my waterline. I'm going to use this tiny tiny little eyeliner from Elizabeth Mott in the shade Pearl and just put it right in my inner corner. Okay didn't record but I just used the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'm going to use it on my bottom lashes as well. I think I am going to use the NYX Coffee Lip Liner first just to uh, get a little bit of uh, dimension in the lipstick.
done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that this might be a lot for some of you, um, but for me it's really a very natural makeup. These lips, they are as nude as it can be. So in my opinion, very natural. Um, and the eyes are very natural as well. It just really increases the, uh, not increases, it really en enhances it really enhances my blue eyes and it's very natural in my opinion <laughs> so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video also as you guys have seen through this video I have a black background in this video um, I would love to hear your comments what you guys think in my opinion I did like it uh, in the end of the video in the beginning of the video it just looks like I am way more pale than I am just because the black reflects like yeah white dark but I like that you can really see where my head <laughs> stops because when I have a white background I, I just blend into the white just because I am pale all over but yeah I would love to hear your thoughts so please comment what you think and also please comment what you would like to see next time that would be so great because i need inspo so guys until next video i really hope you have a great day and a marvelous life and yeah we'll see each other in my next video 